Hello grade 8. So this week we are starting with a new chapter, chapter 3, called weight. Now we already have an idea about weight. Let's talk about it more. So the first two objectives you guys already know from the previous chapter, but you will be able to distinguish between weight and mass, which you already have a slight idea about from last year. And you will know that the weight of a body varies according to altitude and latitude. And we're going to talk about the relation between the weight and the mass. All right, starting off with the characteristic of weight. We know that the weight of a body is the force of attraction exerted by the Earth on this body. Okay, its characteristic point of application, center of gravity, line of action, vertical direction, downward, and magnitude, it can be measured using a dynamometer or a spring balance, and its unit is a newton. How about how can we represent it? Simply take the center of the object and draw a vertical downward force, just like these. Okay, so we already know this. Now I want you to pause this video, go to the PowerPoint that I uploaded, okay, and watch this video first and then come back. I hope you guys watched the video about the difference between mass and weight because if you did, you're going to find this really easy and simple. So what is the mass of a body? The mass of a body is the amount of matter in this body. So how much matter there is inside this body? It has nothing to do with the force of attraction exerted by the Earth. Okay, it is measured with a balance. All right, and it is always constant. It does not change. It means if your mass, let's say, is 30 kilograms or 35 kilograms, uh, if you went to the moon, your mass will remain 35 kilograms. It does not change. It is always constant, okay? Unless you start eating more and you gained uh, a little bit more kilograms. But the thing is, is that it doesn't change from one place to another. Okay, so your mass is constant. Its SI unit is kilograms. Okay, but we have other units of mass like the ton and the gram. So to convert from ton to kilogram, we multiply by thousand. To convert from kilograms to grams, we multiply by thousand. And the other way, we divide by thousand. It's really good that we know this conversion table. Now, I want you to click on this earth and let's go to the simulation. Okay, so this application, this website will open up. You guys have, I guess, five minutes to do the activity or you can just create an account and then you'll have you know more time okay so we will fill this table right here this table okay so this table we're going to be filling it and you can see i have different masses and i need to find the weight for these masses and then to calculate uh weight over mass all right, now how can I find the weight? I need to use this dynamometer, this spring balance that I have right here. And as for the masses, I have labeled masses. You can see them at the bottom, okay? So first of all, we're gonna start with 0 0.5 kilograms, which is same as 500 grams, right? So I'm gonna take the 500 grams, which is the 0 0.5 kilograms, and I'm gonna put it on the dynamometer. It has given me 4.9 newtons, so I have 4.9 newtons. Great. Now I will be finding weight over mass, so it is 4.9 over 0 0.5, and it will give me 9.8. Now let's move to the 1 kilograms. These are the 1 kilograms, okay? I get 9.8, so I get here 9.8, and right here 9.8 over 1, which is also 9.8. Great. The next one, 3 kilograms, so this is 2, this is 3. All right, so we get 29.4, and then you put 29.4 over 3, and you will get also 9.8, and then you have 5 kilograms, so 
what did I do? Okay, so I will remove them and I'll take the five kilograms and put it. Okay, so it is 49.1 and uh, you also get 9.8 something. And uh, yeah, so the last one is nine kilograms. So I'm going to put seven, eight and nine. So these are nine kilograms that is equal to 88.3 newtons so this is the weight now the weight over the mass you'll get also a 9.8 something all right so something is happening here you can see they are all the same now let's get let's get back to the powerpoint to answer the following questions now that we filled the table, let's answer the following questions. So for two different masses, is the weight the same? What do you guys think? Two different masses, do I have the same weight? No, the weight is also different, so no. Part two, how does the weight vary as the mass increases? So the mass is increasing, going from left to right. You can see that. So what, what is happening to the weight? It is also increasing so the weight increases as the mass increases part three what can we conclude from the last line of the table what can we conclude what do you notice we notice that uh, the weight over the mass is equal to 9.8 newtons per kilogram and it is constant it does not change it is constant although the weight and the mass are changing but this ratio is constant and it is equal to 9.8 newtons per kilogram we call this the gravity okay so it is the gravitational acceleration uh, which we will talk about in the next slide so it says express part 4 w in function of m and g so if g is equal to w over m weight over mass then the weight is equal to mass times g okay so just like that now that we have a relation we can put it in a triangle that makes it easier for us to memorize it so we can see we have the weight at the top in newton the mass in kilogram and the gravitational field strength in newton per kilogram this is constant and it is usually equal to 10 newton per kilogram okay unless it's given otherwise but it is usually taken approximately equals to 10 newton per kilograms okay and this gravitational field strength is that of earth okay so if we move to another planet this one will change same as the weight but the mass is constant it does not change okay so let's go back to the let's get back to the triangle we can find the three formulas using this triangle the first one is the weight equals to the mass times the gravitational field strength the second one is the mass equals to the weight over the gravitational field strength and if i want to find the gravitational field strength it would be equal to the weight over the mass now what is the difference between the mass and the weight this little table it summarizes everything so the weight of a body is the force of attraction exerted by the earth on the body whereas the mass is the amount of matter in this body okay the instrument of measurement for the weight it is the dynamometer or the spring balance for the mass it's just the balance as for the si unit and its symbol weight w in newtons and the mass m small m or capital m whatever in kilograms and the variation with location we know that the weight it varies from one location to another it changes whereas the mass it does not vary from from one location to another it is constant but how does this weight vary so the weight of the same body varies with altitude it decreases when it moves away from earth so let's say you're standing at the bottom of the mountain okay you know near the lake your weight will be more 
than if you climbed this mountain and stood at the top. So at the top, your weight will be less. So as you move away from Earth, your weight will become less and less. So it decreases when you move away from Earth. Also, the weight of the same body varies with latitude. It decreases when it passes from the pole to the equator. So if you are standing at the pole, your weight will be more than if you moved to the equator. Okay, so as you go to the equator, your weight will decrease. It decreases when it passes from the pole to the equator. Now, as I said before, on Earth, we take this gravitational field strength equals to 9.81 newtons per kilogram. But this number is a bit annoying, so we can take it approximately equals to 10. All right, and it is usually given. And this is the gravitational field strength on Earth. And the last thing that we're going to talk about is the lunar weight. Lunar, it means that the weight on the moon. So let's click on this simulation and let's fly to the moon. Okay, so it's going to take a Take us back to this. Uh, they are saying that by default, planet Earth is selected. It is. Fix a labeled mass M equals 4 kilograms to the dynamometer. So I'm going to put 4 kilograms, 2, 3, and 4 kilograms. And then I need to find the weight on Earth for these 4 kilograms. So it is 39.2. All right, now it says find the gravity on Earth, G, Earth. It is equal to the weight on Earth over the mass. You guys remember? So weight over mass, so I'm going to put 39.2 newtons over the mass. It will give me 9.8 newton per kilogram. Now it says change the location to moon. So I'm going to change the location to the moon. There you go. We are on the moon now and you can see Earth. Okay, so the new weight, which is the weight on the moon, it is 6.5 newtons. Okay, now let's find the gravity on the moon. So G moon equals to weight on the moon over the mass. All right, so we said that the mass, it does not change. Okay, so it will remain 4 kilograms, but the weight changes. We can see that it is 6.5 now. So 6.5 over 4 equals to 1.6 to 5 newton per kilograms. Then it says find weight on Earth over the weight on the moon. So we put the weight on Earth over the weight on the moon and we get a 6. And then it says find the gravity on Earth over the gravity on the moon. We get another 6. So we can conclude that the lunar weight, which is the weight on the moon of a body, is six times less than its terrestrial weight, which is the weight on Earth. So the weight on Earth equals six times the weight on the moon. The gravity of Earth equals to six times the gravity of the moon. Okay, let's give an example. So if your weight is 360 newtons on Earth, then if you went to the moon, your weight will be six times less. So you divide this by six. Okay, so six times less, you will be 60 newtons. So this is how weight varies from one place to another. Okay, and on the moon, you become six times less. And that's it. We're done with the weight chapter. I hope you found it interesting. And uh, yeah, so if you have any questions, you can ask me in our live session. Uh, stay safe, take care, and bye-bye.